Hey everybody, it's me, LaRasha, Goddess Queen, Just Me, 23, and this is going to be another Zodiac sign reading, and Sagittarius as you are up. So this is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as Venus and Mercury, or if you're a Sagittarius cuss baby, this is for you too, or if you were just guided to this video and you don't have Sagittarius in your chart and you're not dealing with anybody that has Sagittarius in your, their chart, maybe there's some messages in this video for you too. Or if you're a cross watcher and you're dealing with somebody that has strong Sagittarius in their chart, um, maybe there's some messages in this video for you too. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everybody. If it does resonate, please like my channel, subscribe to my channel, comment as well as share. If it doesn't resonate, please try your moon sign as well as your rising sign, which is your ascendant sign in your birth chart. And in order to get your rising sign, which is your ascendant sign, you have to have your name, your date of birth, the time you were born, as well as your location. If you don't have all that information, you'll still be able to get your sun sign, your moon sign. And I say pay attention to your Venus as well as your Mercury when you're dealing with love readings, okay? Um, if you are new to my channel, welcome. Um, if you're new to my channel, I have intros in all of my videos, um, and then I also have give messages to the collective. So if you're pressed on time or you don't want to hear me talk, you can go directly down to the comment section of my video. There's a timestamp there that will take you directly to the beginning of the reading, okay? Um, moving forward, if you use your free will to state that I talk too much, you will be blocked when you can use your free will because you were guided to my video for some reason to get some type of message. Um, you... Um, will be blocked and you will not be able to come back. I am also, uh, one of my gifts that I have is I'm Claire Audient. So I have music in the background. So um, I'm also here to help other people understand exactly what Claire Audience is and how to use the gift that they possibly have as well, okay? Um, so again, uh, the cards that I have in my videos have already been shuffled. The main deck um, is going to be a deck that has two of the same decks in it. If you're interested in any of these decks, they're listed in the description box of my video. I also have my own Amazon channel. If you're interested in any of these decks, if they're available be to be purchased on Amazon. Also, energy healing, if you're interested in energy healing, um, opening up your chakras, things like that. Um, I have things on there to help you with that too, okay? Um, let's see. If you're interested in your birth chart, it's also listed in the description box of the video. Um, so as far as the energy updates, on July the 2nd, we have the new moon in Cancer. Cancer is that water energy as far as when it's dealing with your emotions. Cancer is also the mother of the zodiacs, of all 12 zodiacs. So again, they have that nurturing, that caring, that sensitive energy um, about themselves. Um, very intuitive, um, you know, and could be charming. So again, that moon is bringing in as far as intimacy, bringing those bonds as far as when it comes to your relationships back together within yourself, your family, friends, people that's in your environment. So you could be working on that um, strongly during cancer season. On the second, we also had the sol a solar eclipse that took place one of the eclipses, and we have another eclipse that's getting ready to take place. I need to see exactly when that is. And then um, we had Mercury retrograde start July the 7th, and that ends on August the 2nd. So uh, Mercury is going to be um, in Leo, and then it's going to move and end into Cancer. So again, that's a lot of different energy for you to battle with. Again, Sagittarius, you are fire. So again, Mercury tends to bring in that air and that fire energy because Mercury retrograde deals with people dealing with their past, their karma, um, you know, people coming back from their past either to stop them or either help them, meeting new soul tribe people to help them on their purpose, finding out if you're on good karma, bad karma, um, different things like that. If you're not aware exactly what's in your birth chart, typically people end up being very rebellious during Mercury retrograde and causing a lot of chaos in their life, okay? So again, um, July the 7th to August the 2nd and typically has a week after that as far as energy, uh, technology, communication, bad communication, um, not buying um, anything like new cars, going into new contracts. If it is something that you have been working on before Mercury retrograde and you have made that decision before Mercury retrograde, then they say go ahead and do that. But if it's something that you're making a decision and this is something that you have not thought about, typically they tell you not to make any of those decisions um, in Mercury, okay? So depending on where you are as far as your journey, you will understand exactly what it is that you need to do as far as things that's coming up in your environment. If it's something that can't be avoided, of course, take advantage of it um, and do what you need to do, okay? Um, 
let's see uh also um anything else as far as energy updates that's it so far Sagittarius is uh let's go ahead and get started so again the cards have already been shuffled um the, we're gonna shuffle these deck um this deck on camera um the other cards have already been shuffled so we're gonna cut them on camera Again, I have uh, cuss babies that I'm including in my readings. If you are a cuss sign, baby, um, your birthday, if you will be a Scorpio slash Sagittarius, if your birthday is from November the 18th through November the 24th, so you are a Scorpio slash Sagittarius, if your birthday is from November the 18th through November the 24th, um, you are Sag slash Capricorn, if your birthday is from December the 18th through December the 24th. So again, uh, Sag slash Capricorn, December the 18th through December the 24th, okay? Sun, your cuss signs represents who you're trying to be before you pass over in this lifetime. That's the reason why I'm including it in the reading, because if you have two sun, sun signs, that means that you have two energies that you're trying to harness before you pass over in this lifetime. Not necessarily saying that your sun sign is your mo most important sign, but if you have two of them, you have a little bit more work and then you have advantage of other, you know, zodiacs, depending on what's in your chart. OK, um, so let's go ahead and get started again. I have small hands. Um, again, this is going to be for Cap, uh, for uh, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as Venus and Mercury. Or if you are a, uh, a Sagittarius cusp baby, this is for you too. Or if you were just guided to this video and you don't have a Sagittarius in your chart as well, you possibly could get messages from this video as well, okay? Okay, so Sagittarius says I'm going to shuffle it um, three more times. The next time, whatever at the bottom of the deck, I'm going to take it as part of your energy, okay? Okay, so we have the Two of Swords. So this is that indecisive energy. So some of you Sagittarius could be indecisive when it comes to making a certain decision, okay? Um, so this is also about making decisions. So some of y'all could be making a decision and then some of y'all could be in indecisive energy as far as when it comes to making a choice. I feel that some of y'all feel that also that y'all have wolves that's in sheep clothing as far as other people that's in your environment that's trying to um, stop you from moving or stopping you from making a certain decision is what I'm getting Sagittarius is. But this is also about balancing yourself. So I feel a lot of y'all are going within. You're doing the things that you need to do as far as healing yourself mentally, physically, as well as emotionally. But major, most of all, somebody has a decision that they need to make, okay? So let's see what we have here as far as that tough shuffling two more times. Yeah. 
Okay, so we have the Nine of Wands being reversed. We have the Justice card being upright. We have the Ten of Cups being upright. And then we have the Hierophant card being reversed. And then we have the Six of Cups being reversed. So this is returning back to child. This is also dealing with your inner, inner child. A lot of y'all could be in nostalgia mode. Again, if you are in, make, in a situation as far as when it comes to making a decision, you could be reminiscing about certain situations that has to do with your past. It could also have to do with your childhood, okay? But I feel a lot of y'all are reminiscing. Y'all are in daydream mode, okay? Um, thinking about certain things that has happened in your life and it could have been um, certain situations that have brought you to a position where you are now where you have to make this decision, okay? I feel that some of y'all are thinking about, again, setting settling down, could be thinking about having children with somebody. Um, some of y'all could have possibly, the Six of Cups also represents past life relationship. So you and this person couldn't possibly have a past life together, okay? So this could be a decision that you have to make. Some of y'all could be also, again, more in your um, inner child energy as far as your ju youthful energy is what I'm getting. Some of y'all possibly could also be making a decision as far as letting go of certain things that's from your childhood. Or again, it could also be friends and family members that's in your your childhood because you do have um the nine of wands and this is that defensive energy as far as guarding yourself okay i feel that there could be some bad in communication between you and certain family members or you and certain people that's in your a, a certain person that's in your environment okay um i feel again let's say if this is you um Sagittarius is or if this is somebody that you are dealing with um, when the nine of wands is reversed this is about over compromising okay this is also well this is also about some being unprepared in a certain situation typically this is the surrender card as far as when it comes to surrendering to a certain situation you know going through your power delays as well as you know trying to gain strength in a certain situation but when it's reversed this is about you know weakness and character so again let's say if there is some bad communication between you and somebody else um i feel again that that's the reason why you have this guarded energy you could be surrendering to a certain situation where you're no longer wanting to make a make a move because that could be one of the decisions that you're making um as far as with the two of swords coming out okay is what i'm hearing so i feel that somebody is going through a bit of uh, karma is what i'm hearing they could be going through past life karma or having memories of their past okay is what i'm hearing because you have the justice card coming out and when the justice card comes out this is about again uh balance balancing yourself so again finding balance within yourself finding balance within your relationships, finding balance within your foundation, your work life, and so on, okay? So I feel, again, that you are doing that, Sagittarius. Is, again, there could be people that's trying to cause you to stay off balance is what I'm hearing, but I feel that you're getting through it. Um, I feel, again, that a lot of y'all are taking responsibility for your actions or somebody's wanting to take responsibility for their actions, okay? This is also a cause and effect. So, again, knowing, again, the choices that you make um, cause consequences is what I'm hearing. Um, but I feel, again, that there are some of y'all that are going just seeking fairness, okay? And it could be seeking fairness that when it has to do a relationship. And this could be something, again, that was saying that something has been in the past. It could be a past relationship or, again, a past life relationship. Um, I feel that there is somebody that's ending a relationship with a contract. There is going to be some type of contract that's going to be broken as far as an ending to a commitment. You do have the higher fin card being reversed. So this also represents tours. So some of y'all could possibly be dealing with an earth sign tours or uh, you also have the ace of pentacles which is reversed so it could represent um capricorn virgo as well as taurus as well okay um so again i feel that some of y'all could be ending a commitment no longer wanting to move forward again you could be guarding yourself from the situation finally surrendering i feel again that some of y'all have had certain memories that have been brought up that's causing you to make a decision on what it is that you're wanting to do as far as when it comes to this relationship okay i feel that some of y'all are ending a relationship and you're going towards your 10 of cups so let's say if this is somebody that was coming back from your past um is what i'm hearing so let's say if this person was not committing or if this person was not surrendering to a connection they were not putting in the effort um you know again it was a false start as far as when it comes to this connection between you and this person i feel that somebody also could have had issues as far as with bad with money is what i'm hearing but again i feel that some something is getting exposed um so let's say if somebody is um ending um, a, a marriage that could be something that's getting exposed is what I'm hearing um, because that's um, that's going to be happening like it's going to be a final divorce or finding in, in the ending 
to a commitment is what I'm hearing, okay? And this person is surrendering. They're no longer wanting to be involved. Um, when you do end this relationship, Sagittarius, if this is you, our cross watchers, you're ending it with the Sagittarius. It's, you are going to still find the Ten of Cups. You are going to still have joy out of the situation. Um, you're going to get to a position where you're going to be overall happy, okay? I feel a lot of y'all are going to be finding peace once you end this situation with this person. Again, there could be somebody that's from your past, that's from a childhood a relationship that you possibly could be going towards back to, okay? Sagittarius, this is what I'm hearing. Okay, are the, you and this person have had a past life before, okay, is what I'm hearing. Somebody could be going, leaving a relationship and going back to somebody that is from their childhood, um, a childhood lover, or a childhood friend, and then, or they could have been somebody that ha you had a past life with, okay, is what I'm hearing once you end a relationship, okay. So we have the higher fin card being reversed, and when the higher fin card comes out, this is about not committing to a certain situation. This is also not being in tune with your spiritual side. So again, if y'all are balanced you know battling and trying to balance your 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 spiritual side as far as your mental stability your physical stability and again your spirit i feel again it has been a struggle to some of y'all i feel again that some of y'all are also dealing with somebody that's very um um uh, um, they could be rebelling. So again, let's say if some of y'all are having issues as far as past life or trauma or um, past, uh, past um, trauma from like your childhood, or it could be also parents or, you know, somebody that you saw as a... Um, a, a role model is what I'm hearing. I feel that some of y'all are healing from those type of relationships as well. So again, there could be some stuff that's from, like I said, your belief systems, your childhood, as far as your parents, the way that they brought up, brought you up. I feel that some of y'all are rem reminiscing about that. I feel some of y'all are breaking yourself free from something that's no longer serving you. And whatever that is, um, Sagittarius is, um, because you're going towards your 10 of cups. You want your overall happiness. Again, if this person is coming back from your past, I feel this person is coming in with some type of love offer um even if they even if they um cause delays in the the relationship in the past i feel that this person is coming in um as far as when it comes to a new opportunity you do have the page of cups here so this is about somebody expressing themselves as well as giving a certain apology okay this person is coming in with gentle energy again they could be in their youthful energy as far as when it comes to them approaching you sagittarius is or if this is you approaching this person i feel that somebody is basically wanting to be romantic okay they see you as their lover they see you as their ten of cups again if they were not committing to a relationship before they know that they were um not bringing justice to this relationship would cause you to surrender if somebody walked away okay so again you have the eight of cups coming out and the eight of cups is reversed and this is about making you feel abandoned so again this person knows that they met you like made you feel abandoned um again i feel that some of y'all again possibly could be dealing with somebody that's refusing to move on from a certain situation so let's say if you are ending with a relationship you could have somebody that's in your environment that's refusing to move on sagittarius is our cross watchers is what i'm hearing Baby, you are my everything. You're all you're all I ever wanted, okay? And this is what this person is thinking about. If you see the old couple in the back, they're thinking about children, having children with you, settling down, finally being in that happy place. You have the Ten of Cups coming out. And when the Ten of Cups comes out, again, this is about inner peace. This is about having success. This is about mutual love as respect, a unity that has trust, okay? So I feel that this relationship is coming in. You're finally getting justice in the situation, Sagittarius. Is. I feel, again, there is going to be an ending to a certain situation. I feel that somebody possibly could have went through a transformation they could have went through the dark night of the soul as far as you know a stepping phase in order for them to present themselves as far as giving a commitment is what i'm hearing as well so when the death card comes out this is about transformations this is about ending closures finding completing certain chapters letting go of certain things that no longer serves you a death to an ego which causes you to have a regular rebirth and you renew renewed okay so i feel that there's somebody that's letting go of a situation that's no longer serving them um and they're moving forward okay i feel that somebody's moving forward they're bringing justice to a relationship okay
Okay. So the ending to um, a relationship, okay? So there's an ending to a contract. Uh, this could be a marriage, a final divorce. Um, you're finally letting go of something that's no longer serving you, a contract ending. This could also be a job that you're removing yourself from and you're no longer wanting to commit is what I'm hearing as well. Sagittarius is our cross watchers. Um, if this person is coming back from your past, um, again, let's say if this person is coming back from your past, um, we have the strength card being reversed, which represents Leo. So again, this is with this this person that let's say if this is somebody that's coming back from your past or if you're ending a relationship with the Leo, that could be a possibility. Some of y'all could be ending a relationship with a Taurus, um, a Ace of Pentacles, a Capricorn, a Taurus or a Virgo or a Leo, okay? So some of y'all could be ending a relationship from that. Um, I feel again, let's say if this is you going towards somebody or again, let's say if you were lacking confidence in yourself because you had a lot of delays as far as when it comes to your foundations or whatever it is that you were committing to, I feel again that some of y'all um, were afraid of a certain situation as far as when it comes to a certain outcome because you were feeling like you were not getting any justice. I feel that somebody is finally getting ready to get justice. I feel that there's a major transformation when it comes to your foundation. Again, if there's somebody that was not committing this person is committing now okay this person could have been had lacked confidence as far as when it comes to committing to a relationship um and that's the reason why they were so indecisive if some of y'all were dealing with a situation because you do have this page of cups here and if you see these three people here and this person is very selfish in the middle so let's say if some of y'all were dealing with somebody that was not committing if they were putting you in a third party situation i feel that there y'all could have been dealing with somebody that could have been a little you know conceited or a know-it-all um um is what i'm hearing and that's probably the reason why you were lacking confidence as far as when it comes to this relationship okay um we have the four of swords coming out <clears throat> and when the four of swords is reversed this is about resuming back to normal activity after taking some type of rest taking some type of physical healing not having any movement again delays in a relationship delays in a certain cycle again i feel that somebody's moving forward let's say if they didn't have courage in order for them to be committed in a relationship i feel that this person now is gaining courage in order for them to move forward in a certain situation okay um is what i'm hearing so let's keep going we have new love. So again, how I was saying that some of y'all are going to be ending a relationship and going towards something to different. I feel again, there possibly could be a Libra that are a Scorpio um, that's in your near future. Let's say if whoever's ending a relationship and you're, um, or it could also be a Taurus that's in your, your near future. This necessarily, even this is, this is reverse. This could be a Taurus that's in your near future, or they could be somebody that has Leo in their your near future. But the cards that are upright, we have the Libra card and we have the Scorpio card. And I know that a lot of y'all like to know which cards are upright and which cards are reversed. So we have the, the cards that's reversed. We have strength card, which is Leo. We have the um, Ace of Pentacles, which is Capricorn, Taurus, as well as Virgo. And then we have the higher fin card, which is Taurus, which is reversed as well. Okay. Um, so again, new love, a new opportunity as far as when it comes to giving a commitment, you know, being happy, um, celebrating um, your happy life with this person. It says a new person has stirred up your romantic feelings. Again, if you're ending a relationship, you have an opportunity to get in, uh, be in a new relationship with somebody. And again, this could be somebody that's from your past, your childhood, or somebody that you have had a past life relationship with. If this is somebody that's coming back from your past, this person is coming in new energy after them having a major transformation, letting go of depth of egos, letting go of certain habits that no longer serves them. And now this person is in a new energy, okay? We have weddings. So again, a new opportunity, um, somebody getting a love proposal. Um, again, this, per this situation involves marriage. So again, there could be some of y'all that this person is, again, I told you that somebody's wanting to settle down. They're wanting to have children. They're seeing, um, uh, they can see the life that they can have with you. Okay. So somebody's going to be getting a love offer. Somebody's going to be getting a ring. Okay. We have keep an open mind. So it says your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So again, they could be different from you. Y'all could have had different morals as far as different backgrounds, as far as your childhood. One of y'all could have been a little bit more spiritual or one of y'all could have been more a little bit more religious. Some of y'all could have had different belief systems is what I'm hearing as well. Or there could be a difference as far as age. Um, but it's something that's different about this person. Again, opposites attract. Um, again, so keeping an open mind, staying positive 
positive about your connection, knowing that each one of you are unique, okay, when it comes to who you are as an individual, okay? Um, we have admit your true feelings to yourself, so be honest with yourself, only you know what it is that you truly desire. So admitting your true feelings, no longer denying how you feel about a certain person or how you feel about a certain situation. Speaking up for yourself, standing up for yourself and speaking your truth, okay? Not denying, not living in illusions, not wearing rose-colored glasses, admitting your true feelings and living in true reality is what I'm hearing, Sagittarius is. Okay, so it says healing, healed, and healer. So it says healing energy surrounds you in this situation. So again, I feel that your relationship, you have always been protected, Sagittarius. The journey that you have been on has always been protected. Some of y'all could be ha have been going through, again, the different healing phases as far as your own self-discovery, as far as, you know, finding out who you are and finding out your self-worth. Finally, you are finally healing from certain things that no longer serving you. You're finally surrendering to, again, broken agreements, um, a certain attachments that you don't need to be involved in. Again, if you were having issues as far as managing your money, I feel that you're, you're, you're working on doing that. I feel it's a lot of healing that's taking part as far as when it comes to your energy. Again, if you are lacking confidence, I feel that you're building that confidence back. You're taking baby steps within yourself. Some of you possibly could be reaching out to certain healers, um, Reiki teachers, you know going and taking part of energy stones and crystals to help you since you do have some of these cards that's reversed i'm going to recommend some stones for you sagittarius um so you have the higher fin card being reversed um so you i represent uh i recommend topaz get you a topaz ring topaz stone a topaz necklace uh, a rock um the strength card being reversed that represents leo get garnet um garnet uh bracelet would help you and those were the only two here. So since you said that, since they have this card here, I'm going to re recommend that as well. So again, knowing that you're surrounded by inner, inner, uh, surrounded by um, healing energy, knowing that you are in your own bubble, okay? Um, knowing that you are in your own bubble and you're protected, okay? So again, if you need to reach out to somebody to get um, healing, do that, okay? Or take part of energy healings. Um, that would help you as well as far as healing, uh, helping build back your confidence and your self-esteem as well, okay? We have love life. So a lot of y'all are focused on your love right right now. Again, you're being honest and true to yourself when it comes to your love life. If you feel, if you really truly care about a certain person, admitting your true feelings about that. It says the basis of your questions involves your romantic life, which is now changing for the better. So again, I feel again, regardless of which situation that you're in, if you're ending a relationship, you do have a new opportunity with somebody as far as a new love relationship in the near future. And then again, some of y'all are going to be going back to the person that you have always had um, deep passion with. They have always been the love of your life, okay? And again, if some of y'all have had past life relationships with this with this person again you're realizing that this is the love of your life okay is what i'm hearing we have mouse spirit so it says tend to the small things so tending to the small things taking care of you again um taking care and tightening up your house um again uh healing yourself within um changing things that you know that you can change um without you know making big changes in your foundation is what i'm hearing sagittarius is so if some of y'all have been thinking about changing certain things doing the things that you knew tending to the small things first and again taking on the bigger things later on so we have a four here which is about stability okay we have a uh, sandpiper spirit so it says be playful so again this person is in that playful energy as far as that nostalgia energy that youthful energy again there could be some intimacy that's involved between you and this person is what i'm getting from too but again join the uh, creating memories for yourself sagittarius is creating memories for yourself okay we have a 51 here which is a six and six this is about the past again about harmony we have white raven spirit, so it says trust in the magic, so knowing, um, trusting in the magic, trusting in the universe, trusting in your higher self, trusting in your gods, trusting in the synchronicities and the signs that you're getting, okay? Some of y'all could be seeing a lot of birds right now, and if you're seeing a certain bird, in order for you, um, make sure that you Google um, the meaning of that bird, 
Uh, what is the spiritual meaning of seeing ravens? What is the spiritual meaning of seeing hawks? What is the spiritual meaning of seeing falcons? Okay, so again, that's going to also help you with DNA activations. Look, another six here. So six is, so again, this is a past life relationship that this person, you're realizing that this person has been the love of your life. Again, that's the reason why you're in such nostalgia mode, okay? And it's bringing you a lot of happiness when you think about the how, how much you and this person have um, dealt with each other during the different um um lifetimes is what i'm hearing okay so again sixes represents again it's not that devilish energy sixes is about activations um and again um the past situations learning your past taking care of the past releasing anything that's from the past that's no longer serving you releasing resentment and releasing bitterness as well okay so just trusting yourself keeping your faith okay we have grounding. Um, so this is your root chakra. So making sure that your root chakra is um, uh, aligned, um, it's healed. So again, wearing red, eating red fruits, eating red vegetables, cutting back from the red meats. Um, exercise, sexual energy is also would help you with your root chakra. Dyeing your hair red if you're into red. Um, again, it says this is another six. So look at all these sixes, okay? So it says um, nurture, uh, presence, uh particularity uh particularity um and stability okay so this person is bringing stability to this relationship i feel that this person is now stable if they were not stable with their finances before and they had issues as far as money i feel that this person is bringing uh has a lot of stability they have grown into okay is what i'm hearing as far as a, a part of their transformation okay we have heart chakra, so opening up your heart chakra, this person's heart chakra is opening up, wearing green, going outside with nature, sitting with the trees, putting plants and flowers in your home, you know, connecting with um, the trees, touching the trees, sitting in the grass, going outside, walking barefooted in the grass, okay, if you see he's barefooted, walking barefooted in the grass, okay, that would help you with your root chakra as well as your heart chakra too, okay, you have another 22 here, so you have a lot of master numbers here, okay, so a lot of um, a 22s represents union as well as balance. We have 18. So again, inner child. I said that earlier. Um, cards don't lie. So again, playful energy, nostalgia mode, reminiscing about your past, being activated and woken up to past life relationships that you have had with this person. Um, we have playfulness. It says lightheartedness, lightheartedness innocence and wonder we have an 18 here which is a nine and nines are about moving on which is about happiness which is about growth so again a lot of y'all could again be healing childhood uh relationships you could be healing certain things that's from your childhood again um certain things from your belief systems that's no longer serving you you can be breaking free from that as well okay we have transformation so again um the death card coming out transformation uh, a rebirth okay um again you have you use the power of love to move through illusions and shift into awareness so how i was saying earlier breaking free removing your rose colored glasses no longer living in illusions going through a transformation allowing yourself to purge um again experimenting with yourself coming to realization as far as when it comes to your awareness when you're involved in a certain situation and again if you were not getting fairness in a certain situation always seeking that fairness okay so again i, f I feel a lot of y'all are paying attention now if you were not paying attention before okay we have responsibility so taking charge of your actions again libra justice finally getting justice in a certain situation you are aware of the power of your thoughts and the amount of love you express so again um knowing again taking responsibility for your actions taking responsibility for your choices knowing again the choices that you make cause consequences okay so i feel that somebody's being responsible now again if they were not being responsible before they're they're now responsible especially with their money if somebody was not responsible with their money before i feel that this person is now responsible with their money they've been doing the things that they need to do as far as doing the investments you know putting back money not spending on certain things that they were not supposed to be spending on is what i'm hearing and that message is coming as strongly for somebody if somebody was worried about somebody's problem as far as how they are spending money this person has became very responsibility very responsible with their actions in the things that they were doing in the past because they know that it was not serving you are them and it was not balancing the relationship is what i'm hearing we have um um uh 
how did, I just had a brain fart. Harmony, okay. It says you are able to feel a loving, balanced, connecting connection with everything. So again, knowing that love is around you, again, feeling that balanced connection between you and this person. Again, if you have had a connection with this person and y'all have had a lot of past lives, again, you know that this is somebody that's meant to be with you. Again, that's the reason why there's a marriage coming out and there's a, a, a wedding proposal because this person knows that they have spent you know, lifetimes with this person and they're admitting their feelings to themselves. They're admitting their feelings to this person. As again, this person is also taking responsibility for their actions. So again, if they were causing any issues in the past, again, and they're more focused on their love life because this person's heart chakra is open and now this person is surrendering to it okay now they're surrendering to it they 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 did the things that they need to do as far as their healing okay so this person has a lot of transformation a lot of growth about themselves somebody's getting married okay somebody's getting married um, we have imprisonment. So again, somebody could be ending a relationship or ending a certain contract, um, ending to a certain contract. Some of y'all possibly know that there's somebody that's in your environment that possibly could be going to jail or you could possibly hear about somebody going to jail. There could be somebody that's breaking free um, or getting released from jail because you do have the Ace of Pentacles being reversed as well is what I'm hearing. So again, some of y'all could have been felt teen feeling imprisonment. Um, as far as when it comes to a certain relationship, this could be also in your own home. I feel that somebody was feel, feeling uh, a, a being a prisoner in their own home, okay? So we have a 29 here, which is 11, another master number. Um, 11's again about, or 1's, which is about new beginnings. That's also the twin flame number for me as well, for everybody. Um, we have a 24 here, so theft, okay? So there could have been somebody that was just there for the money, um, reaping certain benefits. There could be somebody that's going to jail for theft is what I'm hearing as well. Um, we feel, I have, I also feel that there could be also somebody that's feeling like something that was stolen from them. So let's say if there is an ending to a marriage or ending to a relationship, there could be the other person feeling like there was theft as far as when it comes to their partner, um, the person that they felt that that was they, their soulmate is what I'm hearing too. So we have a 24 here, which is a six. So again, another six about the past. We have applications. So some of y'all could have a new opportunity when it comes to a new job. Um, again, um, also again, some of y'all could be ending a, a, a contract with your current employer and going towards something different is what I'm hearing. Um, some of y'all could be thinking about taking on new projects. Um, are thinking about a new career opportunity. We have a 34 here. Again, also this is about budgeting your money as well. Good investments. So 34. A seven, so seven's about mysteries, okay? And last card, and it says embrace. So it says, through each other, you find the missing pieces. So through each other, you're, through each other you find the missing pieces. Through one another, you and this person put make each other whole. Again, putting each other back together. Again, um, admitting your true feelings is what I'm hearing. So again, I feel that somebody's finally admitting their true feelings. They love this person. Again, if they have had activations as far as awakenings between this person, as far as you and this person having past lives together, again, I can feel realize exactly why this person is so sensitive. Are they indecisive as far as how they're wanting to move forward as far as when this with this relationship? But but I do feel that somebody is making a decision and they're going towards whoever they have as their wish fulfillment, um, whoever brings them their happiness, because again, there's a marriage that's involved in this situation. OK, so it resonates with you. If it does resonate with you, like my channel, subscribe to my channel. And I just want to say thank you and you have a great day.